Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I have one of the most exciting unboxings that I've ever had on this channel here today. This might be the most exciting. It's definitely gonna be the longest unboxing because I want to savor every moment of this. So buckle up and I hope you guys make it to the end. Um, this is, you can see the sticker. This is a Pasha Pasha doll. And not only is it a Pasha Pasha doll, but this is a Pasha Pasha full set doll. So if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen, it might have been a month or a few weeks ago, I don't know. I had this dream that I was at, I don't remember if it was a convention or the, or the mall or something, but I was in a room, I, I stumbled into a room and there was, um, it was Pasha Pasha and she, or Pasha I guess, and she had 10 artist full set dolls that she was auctioning off. And I came in and there were only two dolls, no there was only one doll left and I came in at just the right moment and I was able to get the last doll. And so when I woke up from that dream, I was like, I think my subconscious is trying to tell me something, which I already knew that I wanted a Pasha full set, but what I had, what I had not done is I had not save the money for one. So there were some other dolls that I had in my collection that I loved, but that I had been considering selling for a while. And I kind of took that dream as, go ahead and sell those dolls so that you have the money ready when a Pasha Pasha full set becomes available. So that's what I did. And now I have a full set. Okay, oh my gosh. This is gonna be so fantastic. All right, so here are some little boxes. Let's pull those out set them here and then we've got some stuffing and then the Pasha Pasha case here so let's get to it this is oh my goodness I am just I'm so excited y'all I can't I can't even believe this and she posted about this doll on her Instagram and she said that it sold in six minutes and guys, the only reason it took six minutes and not three minutes is because when the doll went up for sale, she was about $1,000 more than what I had thought she was gonna be in my mind. And I looked at my husband and I was like, what should I do? And he said that my face looked like I was about to lose a limb. So he said, just go ahead and go for it. So that's what I did. So here we are. All right, so it took me three minutes to go ahead and press that button. So let's... Okay, this is not a toy, blah, blah, blah. All right, what have we got in here? Oh, these, okay. So the lingerie buttons tool, because Pasha is now making her own lingerie, which is another thing that's really exciting about this full set is that it actually has one of Pasha's um, lingerie sets on it. Here's a little brush with comb. And, 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 this doll has changeable makeup. So this is the extra makeup here. So I've got some eyeshadow base and golden eyeshadow and some lipstick and some little brushes for that. I cannot wait to play with that. And of course, I'm gonna show it to you guys when I do. That's gonna be a separate video. So let's check out the certificate here. And like I said, I'm going to savor every moment of this unboxing. All right, so this is the full set Loki. Um, she is Crave and Ebony Silk. And this is her, y'all. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. So I knew, I knew that um, the Ebony Silk Crave was going to be the next full set that came out. Um, just from my emailing, um, finding out about dolls uh, with Erica. And then, let me tell you, let's, let's get to the doll, then I'll tell the rest of the story. I have a lot of stories about this doll because this doll, like, oh man, I just can't. I can't, okay, let's see. Oh, look at her, y'all. Oh my gosh. Wow, she is so beautiful. Oh, she's perfect, oh, she is perfect. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. 
so like I was saying, I, I really wanted a Crave in ebony silk. Like that was a dream doll on my list. And so when I found out the next full set was going to be a Crave in ebony silk, I kind of like made up my mind that that was like I really wanted to try for her. And then I found out, so I was chatting with a friend of mine, Jesus, and he found out somehow that this Atelier Chaos dress, and they are out of London, found out that this dress was going to be on this doll. And I had been looking at all the details of the dress and really admiring it. And when I found out this doll was going to be the Ebony Silk Crave with this Atelier Chaos dress, I was like, that's going to be the doll for me. Like, that's the doll that I want. I, I, I want to add that doll to my collection. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. The dress is so heavy. I think it's made of taffeta or it might be silk. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But it is like really heavy. Like it's got all these beautiful layers and it is just so wow. Like the quality of this is amazing. You can feel how heavy the skirt is and how how rich this fabric is on this dress. And then Pasha um, did the embellishments on the dress and the jacket. So the dress and the jacket are both from Atelier Chaos, which I will link in the description below. And also, um, Pasha did the embellishments. So there's so much to unpack with this doll. Oh my gosh. Uh, mm, I, I can't eat like, <laughs> okay. So let's take her, her, um, her face cap off. Now her wig is by my favorite wig maker, so that was exciting too because um, from Anna Zolatina, she is my favorite wig maker and she made this wig, so that was really cool um, for that. Let's see if I can get this off. Wow, she is fantastic, y'all. Oh my goodness, wow, so check her out. She is absolutely amazing. And her ears are actually really pierced. Like I'm looking at her ears and they're actually, these piercings are actually embedded in the resin. I'm gonna turn her around so you guys can see that. I had wondered how she attached them, but she actually, there's actually piercings on the ear. She's got some fuzz on her face. I'm gonna wipe that off. Um, oh my goodness, wow. There's fuzz just from the packing on her little facial piercings and things. Oh my goodness. I'm not biased or anything, LOL, but <laughs> this is, I, honestly, like I've looked obsessively at all of her full sets on her website. Um, and honestly, I think this is the best one. And you know, and now it's mine. Yay, oh my goodness. Wow, and so Pasha did all of the embellishments of the wig, all the extra gold embellishments. I love this blue color. The blue and the gold together is so amazing. Like, and then if you look at her eyelashes, her eyelashes are actually blue as well. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but she has blue eyelashes. Like, wow, that is crazy. It's so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. The way that it just made, it just pops with that wig. It's just so awesome. Wow. She's wonderful. Okay, and so the face up is resin sealed so that you can do the makeup, so you can change the makeup on her. And what I love about that is that, to me, that shows that Pasha really wants us collectors of her dolls to actually play with her dolls and not just put them on a shelf. Like if she's including makeup that you're gonna use to change the makeup on this doll's face, that is play value beyond, you know, anything that you can imagine. You just, the fact that you can go in there and change this and it's not gonna mess up this face up because it is resin sealed. That's incredible to me. And that's, you guys know, I like to play with my dolls. And so that was another factor about this doll that sold me like, 
right away was that when I read that she has the changeable makeup, I was like, oh my gosh, can you imagine the fun that I'm gonna have changing this doll's makeup and playing with the different things? Because I'm not, I don't do face-ups, I can't do that. But what I can do is I can do lipstick and a little bit of eyeshadow. Like that won't be a problem for me. So that is gonna be so cool to actually go through and do that and change that around. Now the collar here is by Gucci. So I don't know what she actually pulled this from cause I don't know a lot about um, like the high fashion brands and stuff, but apparently this is a real piece of Gucci material, uh, whatever it is. So there's that. Now let's look in these boxes and see if we can find her. I'm guessing her hands are in here or maybe her hat. So let's see about that. Okay, there's her hat. Oh, and her shoes. I forgot about her shoes. So there's her shoes. And then her hat. Gorgeous. So there's the, the hat. And I couldn't find the hat maker. She listed the hat maker's name, but I couldn't find the hat maker on Instagram or online anywhere, so I won't be able to link that. But if you guys know um, the artist behind the hat and want to link that for me in the comments below that would be awesome just so I can follow her work but there is the hat super cute wow all right so I'm going to take that off and just set it to the side and then let's check out this So we have in here, oh man, look at these hands. Ah. Oh, and there's an extra pair of feet. I didn't realize she was coming with two pairs of feet. Okay, the hands have, oh my gosh, I love this. Oh, look at the little jewel on the thumb. How amazing is that? And then she's got a ring on her index finger. That is so gorgeous. I love it. I love it, y'all. I love it. I'm going to put this hand on. Oh, I love it. Okay. And the other hands are just as detailed. Oh, my goodness. So every hand has a ring on the index finger. Oh, wow. Look at this one. And, oh, they've got... So every thumb has this this decoration on it and then we've got like a sapphire blue um, stud on the index finger of the other hand which is really nice because it goes with that whole blue motif with her hair and eyelashes oh my goodness wow and I'm gonna show you guys her feet now she's got on some um, some stockings here and she's got her heeled feet on so there are her feet and her stockings this dress is so amazing i'm like feeling the the quality of it it's just so heavy and gorgeous so she is so perfect now what i'm gonna do because i want you guys to see this lingerie that pasha made is i'm going to remove the dress and the jacket uh, so we can check that out so you guys can see it because it was really cool she was posting uh her her experience, I guess, and her learning process of making lingerie. And she kind of said, like, you know, she's she's made the doll, now she's working on the clothes. And I don't know how long she worked on it, but, I mean, she went from, like, zero to 100 <laughs> right away. Like, her pieces are amazing, the, um, the lingerie pieces that I've seen that she's made. So I was really excited that when I got this doll, um, when I had the opportunity to purchase this doll that she was coming with um, some of Pasha's lingerie. I just want to show you guys this jacket. Look how awesome that is. That's amazing. Absolutely incredible. Really gorgeous. Wow. I love the, oh, it's got little teddy bears on it. I just noticed that, the little teddy bear embellishments. They're so cute. They're adorable. Wow, okay, let's set that here. So I'm gonna take the dress off so we can see the lingerie. Now the dress has hook and eye closures. So let me carefully remove that. Without 
damaging anything. There we go. Gosh, this dress is, this dress is a work of art. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Everything about this doll is a work of art, like from head to toe. So, oh my goodness. You are so beautiful, Loki. And I love her name too, Loki. Love that. Because I, you guys know, I don't like to rename dolls. So the fact that she's already got this amazing name is great. Look at that dress. Look how, look at it, how it just stands. That shows you the quality of the fabric in this dress. Wow. Like it just, museum piece. There we go. This whole doll is a museum piece. Okay. So let's put her hands back on so we can look at her. Oh my goodness. And I love this pink um, color that she used for the lingerie. I just love that color, that rosy pink, dusky rose color. Oh, she's so gorgeous, y'all. This doll is amazing. Absolutely incredible. Have you ever seen anything so awesome in your life? I haven't. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. Oh, she's got little buttons. So this, um, this probably came loose when I was either doing the, the, um, there's a little button tool. I'm not gonna pull that out just right yet. Let's see if I can button that on to her buttons. Maybe, maybe I need to get the tool. Let me get the tool, let's see how it works. So the lingerie buttons tool here. So let's see if this can, these are the little tiny details. Wow. Oh, I think her leg is in a bad position for this. Let's see. There we go. Check that out. I think it's probably going to pop off again when I move her legs around. So that will be like a display thing. Like if I want to display her um, with these attached, I'll have to attach them like I have to put her in position and then actually attach them to the buttons to make sure that it's stays attached because it's yeah see how you have to position her just right oh wow that's amazing all these little tiny 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 details now I'm going to show you the back of the lingerie as well so check out the back she is so gorgeous and she's got hyper realistic blushing including on all of her private parts which i cannot show you on youtube but i will post them on instagram we'll see if it'll get past the instagram filters so if you're not following me on instagram and you want to see more of this beauty up close um, please make sure to follow me there which i'll link that below as well y'all oh my gosh she is amazing she is absolutely so incredible just the details, I don't know what, I love, okay, I'm trying to decide what my favorite part is. I love the dress so much. I love the lingerie so much. These hands, I, like, I am, I am like crazy about these hands. They are just so, like the detail, first of all, I love Pasha's hands on her dolls anyway. I love the level of detail that's in the dolls, like I always say. If these dolls committed a murder, <laughs> their fingerprints would be at the scene and they'd be able to find them like an aphis with their fingerprints because their palm prints and hand prints are so well sculpted and so detailed and so well done. Like I just love the detail, but the fact with the little rings and the little thumb, um, thumb jewelry or whatever you would call that, the thumbnail, I just absolutely love it. It is so amazingly gorgeous, so amazing. This doll is insane. Like, absolutely the most incredible piece of art. I love that she has brown eyes, too. So, let's put her shoes on. Let's check these out. So, we've got... Um, here's her shoes. And I'm thinking these are from her Shapeways that have been painted and decorated. There goes my lingerie tool. 
I love these dolls. I love Pasha's dolls. So I still have a Pasha, Pasha boy coming sometime next year. Um, oh wow. Would you just look at her? I could cry. I could really cry. This doll is so incredible. Like you have never seen something so amazing. I've got so many little bits and pieces everywhere, you guys, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, I love her. I love her. She was worth every penny. She was very expensive, but she was worth every penny that I paid for her. And she is a dream doll come true for me. Like this has been, you know, I just started collecting Pasha's dolls this year. Um, I had heard of them before, but I hadn't really, I don't know, I, I guess I hadn't really, they were kind of out of my budget at the time, I guess, when I first saw them. And now, um, you know, they're within my they're within my reach a little bit more and so i got my first one i got that simply beautiful and after that it's like i'm just i love her dolls so much and i want to support her as an artist because i love her artwork and i just i love the way she does things i love watching her um following her instagram and seeing what she's up to um with her dolls and like like the lingerie thing that she shared that she was making lingerie and stuff like that. That that kind of thing is really cool to me when artists share that process. So she is just, I don't even know what else to say other than she is absolutely so incredible. The other really awesome thing about her is there are so many looks I can create with this full set because I've got the dress, I've got the jacket, I've got the lingerie, I've got several different pairs of hands, I've got two different pairs, I've got the flat feet as well as the heeled feet, I've got the hat. So there's so many awesome pieces to go to this doll that um, I can create a whole bunch of looks with them. And not all of her full sets are like that. You know, some are just, you know, a lingerie piece or whatever. So I really feel like this doll was the perfect one for me because I love creating different looks. I'm also not an on the shelf collector. I don't buy a doll and leave it on the shelf. I actually play with my dolls. And do you even know how much fun I'm going to have changing her makeup up and changing her look up? That is going to be like the most incredible thing to me. So what you are looking at right here, this is 40,000 years of human art evolution. And this is what we land at. And y'all, she is so incredible. And she is a part of my collection and I cannot believe it. I am just so honored to be able to have this doll in my collection and be able to hold her and look at her and play with her whenever I feel like it. So, oh my goodness. So anyway, guys, if you made it this far, I know this was a long one, but like I said, I wanted to just savor every moment of this. Oh my gosh, I just noticed the veining on her chest. I was gonna end the video, but then I just saw the, <laughs> the veining on her chest. Oh my goodness, look at that. And her arms too. I haven't seen one of Pasha's hyper-realistic in person. Um, I don't think my Giddy Heights is hyper-realistic. Maybe it is, and maybe I just haven't looked at her closely enough. But wow, that is crazy. Okay, anyway, like I was saying, if you made it this far, Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming along with me on this journey as I added this dream piece of art, this dream art doll to my collection. I'm just, I'm in love with her, completely infatuated. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I'm gonna have more videos about Loki coming up, especially definitely gonna be doing some makeup play with her and some other different things. So like I said, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I will link all the pertinent information below in the video description and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and being here with me and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.